Beautiful morning guys, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're fresh and well and beautiful. Another fine and fantastic day again today. Welcome to Homeland yet again. It is Saturday, it's crazy Saturday, and I just had to help my dad then put a spare bed and mattress into the back of his car because he's gonna be taking it over to my sister's today because she's got some family members possibly staying around hers tonight, so she needed an extra bed. And that was actually my old bed from like flipping years ago and it's just been in the garage. Knew it would come in handy one day so now she can have it in her spare bedroom. I'm currently waiting for Mullet and Chino to come over. I've got to take Holly back to hers today because... I need to go home. She needs to go home. So I was actually waiting at mine for Chino and Mullet to come over, but because I've got to take Holly back to hers, I thought, you know what, I'll actually go pick them up. It's probably a lot easier than waiting for them to get to mine. Get in, Mocha. Yo. Howdy, y'all. How's y'all been doing back in sunny Somerset? Fantastic, sir. Welcome. Only about two days Thank in, you I think. Mean. <laughs> What's that? The accent. The accent. I'm trying to make you feel less sad to be home by yeah. talking like this yo you can talk american for the rest of the day that'd be pretty awesome i will try my <laughs> most certainly bestest sir that was pretty good thank you Ugh. right Hi. one suitcase for you madam long time viewers might be wondering how is the extension going on are you gonna drive my car are you driving my car you little rascal how's the extension going on in holly's house it looks massive look at the size of that are you actually having a whole nother house built on the side of your house I haven't been here for like a month and that has like come along such a long way. Am I allowed in? Just don't put the pipe. It's not going to be wet cement is it? I hope not. Holy moly. So this is going to be the lounge. Nice doors open up to the garden. Then that's going to be bedroom, ensuite, hallway. <whistles> Cheers mate. Where is Thank you. Oh, fancy oh. seeing you out here. Ah, I'm always there. Still rocking Clash of Clans, mullet? Yeah. <laughs> Just on a little raid. Dear, three million and one. Oh. Mullet's still playing Clash of Clans. It's going strong. What's been happening there, mullet? What's been happening in the land of Homeland? Uh, EP, bands, CDs. Is it finished? Is it announced wow. yet? We finished, it just needs mixing and mastering. I've noticed something else uh, new about you. Got a new hat. The new hat. <laughs> I was going to say, you got a new hat. Got a little new hat. New sneakers? Hey, have you seen my new sneakers? Oh, they're bad boys. <laughs> Fox, mate. Fox. Fox bad boys. Fox bad boys. Anything else been going on new? Uh, People have been missing you. I get so many one. comments and you do's in there. Yeah. You in there. You've been commenting saying, where's Mullet? What's Mullet up to? I've been this right is, here. This is your chance to... Waiting. I've been playing Clash of Clans, <laughs> working. Um, playing guitar? Practicing guitar, yeah. Crazy. Pretty much. This is the thing now, welcome back to England. It was beautiful sunny just now. <laughs> and now it's absolutely pouring down rain. So we just gonna wait here. I don't wanna get my hair wet. Kinda Let's need to borrow an those. umbrella. You agree. Should we borrow an umbrella? Okay. <laughs> um, it's not, it's like there's it's not really that rainy. Scott, you mad? Can't wait. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to End Center. Are you seriously not coming? Mallet, that is a great question. How much fun can you have for five pounds? Well, you can get one for four or two for six. Now you've got this predicament. What do you reckon? Only got five pounds. I do like the colourful ball. Are they real size? They're not. I don't know. Wouldn't. Soon we will be professionals, and we will know if this is professional sizing. Look at the size of this tent. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get a top like that to match your uh, <laughs> your b-ball skills, mate. So I'm just in the shops, just kind of like having a look around. I want to get a frisbee today. Thought I'd come into proper job to find one. And then these dudes. It was you first. You were like, you were like, she was like James. I was like, kind of looked and didn't see who it was. And you were like, oh, watch your videos. And you actually used to go to school with Holly. Yeah. Yeah. How weird. I'm gonna put you on I'm gonna put you on the spot now. <laughs> How long have you been watching? Um quite a few years. Quite a few years. Because yeah. I was watching um Roman's vlogs. Yeah. And then you went to see them in their old house. And then I started watching from that really. Ah so, yeah. long time viewer right now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's been awesome meeting you guys. Yeah. I tell you what. We are going to be having such a fun afternoon. Oh, crazy Saturday is getting even crazier. We just got a flying ring. 
some poppets. Some poppets. Ball. And two bee balls. Big pack poppets. Calm ball. down. Alright, so we have now just arrived at Kenton Mandeville. A nice little village with a pretty cool play area. Ooh. Tripped over there. Pretty cool play area. I mean, we got bee balls. We got frisbees. Mala actually frowned his frisbee. So the one I bought just now, we kind of forgot about already. Oh. Skateboards. <laughs> Happy Tracks Toddlers Park. Oh, we have some fun now. Okay, we are here today at Kenton Mandeville Skate Park for the first official opening of the Extreme Frisbee Olympics. On my right over here, you will see a Mr. James Barber in the right-hand corner. He will be serving. As you can see, he's got the frisbee. On my left, there is Mr. Chino. He's the competitor from London. Come a long way for this competition. <laughs> Apparently, he's been practicing. Uh, I am the official adjudicator. There are no rules. Go! Oh. oh, beautiful. Oh, no, it's a curler. Oh, and that's one point to Chino, I think. Uh, you can both have a point. Okay, we're back for round two, and Chino's lining up, seeing the wind direction. Yes. Oh, look, he's, he's getting ready. Oh, lovely throw. Oh, bit low. Oh, that was beautiful. Here we go for round three. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it's curled. Oh, it's exited the arena. Minus ten points for you. So it's basically see if you can throw it. Shing up, back down. Sounds easy enough. Oh, Tino, you got right in the way then. <laughs> You're ruining my shot, boy. I'm gonna go down this massive ramp. It looks a lot smaller on camera. It's actually twice as big as it looks. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Lucky I wasn't on that. Oh, look at that shot. Silhouette with the sun. Ching! <laughs> land it, land it, land it. That, my friends, is why Mullet is the professional skateboarder. That oh, yeah. he is. Tony Hawk's combo, that was. That was pretty sick. That was a manly throw. Oh, skills. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, sir. You can use your phone in the tennis ball, basketball court, sir. Sir, it's two ladies done it. What's that, sir? Sir, you, you can't use a cell phone sorry, in the basketball sorry, sir. arena. Sorry, sir. I did it's not actually mean it, sir. an arena, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. And um, I, I try not to using your phone in the arena, sir, is a sorry. federal offense. Sir. And I'm going to have to punish you with a, a little reach around. Oh, <laughs> look right, at that. Sir. Please refrain from bouncing the bouncy ball in the bouncy ball court, please, sir. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, I wasn't predicting it to be so warm today. It's not like overly blue skies or anything. It's pretty, pretty dark skies, to be honest, but yeah. black trousers was not Thanks. the wisest of ideas today. I am literally hot and sweaty. Go on, mallet. This is ultimate basketball skills. <laughs> Yeah. Yay! <laughs> oh god, heads up. Heads up, seven up. He is so buff right now. Get the swans out. I just sit in the back, yeah. I'll be your chauffeur, Mallet. Thank you, kind sir. Onwards, leave Jeffrey. Yeah, right. yeah, leave the old bee ball there. See you later on if you're out. Catch you later. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Where would you like to go, sir? Could I please be escorted back to my castle? To your castle? Fitting. Right you are. castle. So considering Dad's leg's still bad, I gotta take you out for a walk again. Oh! I think that means he wants to go out for a walk. <laughs> you little rascal, you ready? I need to put my shoes on, I can't go in my socks, can I? Calm down, boy, calm down. Go on then. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful evening it is again. I do love coming out and getting some nice country air. <sighs> Does smell like cow poop a little bit. What are you doing, Riley? You just he is <laughs> so I just wanted to take a moment as well and kind of talk to you guys and just say thank you to everyone new who's come over and 
given me some amazing positive comments and stuff and everyone who's been watching for a while I know I spoke about it yesterday and stuff it just honestly means so much to me that you guys come over and you're supporting and being so awesome it's just it is it's incredible that you guys have come over and hopefully you guys will continue watching me like whilst I'm back home in England and stuff I've got so much cool stuff planned so hopefully it wasn't just because of like the American vlogs and stuff hopefully you guys can you know stay with me whilst we're back in England doing some you know cool stuff like tomorrow for instance we are driving up to Birmingham and we're going to Slam Dunk Festival me and Holly loads of awesome bands and stuff staying away in a hotel and it is bank holiday weekend as well which means that people are off on Monday so we're gonna be doing some cool stuff then honestly I've got so much cool stuff planned for this channel and these vlogs and stuff so thank you for coming over have you been over and said hello to your friends you're not gonna like terrorize them today it's the cows again hello more cows Holly's back yay you got pink hair it lied again, it was only baby pink. That's, that's baby a lot of pink. pink. I think someone sabotaged my hair dye. Holly messaged earlier, some of you guys have probably seen it because a lot of people favourited it and retweeted it and stuff. Holly tweeted earlier that she found out her holy flippin' moly original Sega Master System with all of these games. I don't know why she's got two Desert Strikes for, but she's got all of these games. And one of Holly's favourite games of all time is Bubble Bubble. Holy flippin' moly, look at this bad boy. This thing is so flipping big in retro, the size of that. Luckily, I got a Sega Master System 2 because I just went through all the box and the cables and stuff and she didn't actually have a power cable. So luckily, it's the same power cable as the Sega Master System 2. So I literally just unplugged this here, plugged it in here and it works absolutely fine. I'd have to rewire anything in, which is awesome. Holly, yeah. it's working. Yeah, come play Bubble Bubble. Quick! I'm Quick! Want to play Bubble Bubble? Riley! What are you doing in here? Holly, I've never played Bubble Bubble before. Why are you like a professional? Oh, I don't really. So what we're going to do is jump around. Jump around, play bubbles. And then collect some bananas. Oh, he's angry! He was really angry. Get it. This is literally... Yeah. Yeah. This is literally what me and Holly are going to be playing all night now, I reckon. Look at this. This is retro gaming at its finest. How are you finding it, Holly? Is this bring back memories? All of the memories. Why did you like this game so much? I don't know, because it was my first, my first game, I think. It's your first game? I think this is my first ever game. And I found out why she has two Desert Strikes. This was I one of Holly's favourite games she just bought off eBay when we were away and it got delivered to her mum's house, which then triggered her mum's memory that they've got that hiding up in the attic, which already had this game and they didn't even know about it and her mum just found it. So that's why they have two of these. Now it is time for Desert Strikes. So with that being said, I just want to say thank you guys for coming on today's random crazy Saturday with us. I want to leave you guys with those three very important things which are, as always, stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome, and join us straight back here, same time, same place tomorrow, where we're going to be going to Birmingham for Slam Dunk Festival. Goodbye! Now we're talking. Look at all this meat going on. This is hedgehog steak. Hedgehogs? Small. I was going to say, I literally just said to Martin then, the size of the steaks what we were eating over in America were like, they're probably the 